I honestly am just tuned up to see the dark Batman. That's the it. darkness, huh? Like the like the edgy, you know, he, he's you know, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So but like why why are you so attracted? So you're just attracted to the idea of him being really dark or like a yeah. superhero film that hasn't been that dark before? Something like that? But can you just hurry up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I don't know if he's gonna abide by the rule of no killing. Maybe he will. Maybe he just really messes people up to the point where they're not dead but you know. Sure. The casting's pretty cool. Almost huh? dead. Yeah, kinda of, look it's gonna be amazing, bro. <laughs> Like the the cadence of some of the scenes looks sick. It's got like this like neo futuristic vibe as well. Yeah. I think it's gonna be more of a like murder mystery kind of. Show. Yeah, like the detective aspect of it. Yeah. Nice. Cause they've never done that before. Yeah, they never do it. Alright, sweet sats. <laughs> Don't get us kicked out, bro. <laughs> Okay, so we are here now at the bar and the movie starts at 6.40, 6.35? Yeah. 6.40, so we've had a really, really productive day today. Um, we've done a few different things as well. So we're at a rooftop bar right now having a drink and then we will be meeting some of our other friends soon. Super excited to watch the Batman. The video that you just saw before of me and Sats talking, we were just discussing so many aspects about the film. We're just super excited for this film. As fans of Batman and the Joker and have been watching other films since the past, since childhood as well. Batman is my favorite superhero and J Joker is my favorite antagonist or the villain. So I'm just really enthralled by the character and I'm really excited to see what Matt Reeves brings to the table. He's directed the films such as uh, Planet of the Apes, the new ones, and they're amazing. I love all of them. So super ecstatic to watch it in IMAX tonight. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hi. 
excited. Yeah. <laughs> We are set right now. <laughs> you excited for the Batman, mate? <laughs> I'm excited for the Batman. What's up, Deborah? How are you? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, I know, but I'm excited. Yeah, I know. It's hard to come in. Yeah, I know. It's hard to come in. But I guess. I don't know what rose it. I feel like every time I watch a film, I have a very distinct perspective on how I view films. I mean, some people go watch a film just for the sake of watching the film and there's nothing wrong with that because people just like that entertainment aspect of it. But for a long time, I've realized that when I watch a film, I'm looking at the color grading, the acting, the cinematography, the choreography, uh, the screenplay itself, which is the script. All the different things that I've just listed in Batman were amazing. And I think Batman itself is an artistic achievement. Something that a lot of people kind of disregard, which is completely fair, because if you don't really care about how a scene has been color graded, or the sound design, or even the cinematography, well, you probably won't like the film because Matt Reeves took a very distinct perspective towards making this film. A lot of elements were really, really well done. And I think that's what makes a real good film. Obviously the story of a film is considered really potent and you know, that's probably one of the main things. But I like to also look at all these different elements in the film that I just spoke about. I think Batman for me personally, from the start of the film to the end was just a visual, cinematic, artistic masterpiece. The only thing, I do have a few cons to birds of film, such as, you know, um, it was a bit too long, could have been a little bit shorter, but still I wasn't complaining, you know, it was a great film. Uh, the story was a little bit complex. There was a few things happening all around the place. Some loose ends weren't tied. I'm not gonna really say it because I don't wanna spoil it for people that are gonna watch it. If you aren't familiar with the world of Batman, you're gonna find the story confusing. I even found the story confusing, which is why I needed to watch it the second time. And there are all these different layers of things happening. You know, Matt Reeves did his research. He studied the old comics. He studied all the games that were made in Batman games for the PS3 and the PS4 and all that. He looked at the old Batman films, the reiterations of the Christopher Nolan films and the Tim Burton films, all those films. And which is why I really appreciated um, the film because you could tell that this guy, Matt Reeves, really, really gave it at all to direct a film like this. And it was a very, very different Batman film. I loved the fact that it explored Batman's detective side. I mean, people forget that Batman is considered to be the best detective in the world or the smartest detective in the world. But no other Batman film has really explored that genre or that area uh, when it comes to the character. It's usually about like, you know, um, bank robberies and um, a lot of action stuff, which is amazing in its own aspect as well. It comes, when it comes to the acting, Paul Dano, hands down, stole the show for me. He did what Heath Ledger did with the Joker, but with the Riddler. And people are gonna like call me out and like, oh, that's a big call. But man, I just loved this guy's acting. He's also been in many really weird films, like such as um, There Will Be Blood with Daniel Day-Lewis. He's a really eccentric actor. The way he played the Riddler was amazing. I mean, in the past, Jim Carrey, when he played the Riddler, don't get me wrong, Jim Carrey is one of my favorite actors, so versatile, and he's just done so well in cinema. The Truman Show is one of my favorite films. I just found the Riddler's character in the old Batman films, when Jim Carrey played him, to be very, very silly. You know, hey, we're solving a riddle, let's go, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it does all these really cool, corny things that Jim Carrey sometimes done, does with his characters. But that's completely fine as well. But Paul Dano brought a very sinister, dark, grotesque character to the Riddler's character in this film, which I just loved. And whereas with the Jim Carrey ones, I really didn't. It just, it was more of a, oh, he's a really smart guy, but he's just really silly with how he portrays himself. Color grading was awesome. There was all these tints of red, dark, yellow, blue, um, very, very dark colors. There was not one joyful scene, you know, that it was like broad daylight and there's a lot of vibrance and a lot of saturation happening in the film. None of, nothing like that was the case. It was just a very dark, um, gruesome, raw Gotham, which I loved as well. Music design was sick. I loved how they used Nirvana's uh, Something in the Way soundtrack. 
which was incorporated in many scenes. It just fits so well. The lyrics of the song and uh, the actual scenes in the film aligned really well. I just loved it. And the cinematography was just insane. Some shots were really cool. Uh, I just was so fascinated by how the film was made and how it was created. Kind of glad that Warner Brothers believed in Matt Reeves to let him give his own little take in the aspect of the Batman world or, you know, the film. He's also a really good director. He's created the new Planet of the Apes films, the trilogy, and I wasn't let down by that, which is why I was so ecstatic for this film. Anyway, I will stop talking. I think it's a visual masterpiece. I think it's an artistic achievement that is really rare to see these days in cinema. And if you really care about all those behind the scenes aspects of films and not just the storyline, I think it's a great film. Story was really complex uh, for some people, even for me. I still didn't understand some things. My, you know, it was hard for me to sometimes stay on track with a few things that I had to go back and do a little bit more research. And I hope you really enjoyed my film when I was, you know, going with my friend to watch this film. Uh, something that we were really, really excited for. Anyway, if you've really seen this video this far, I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel, you'll be supporting me heaps. Share this video, like it, comment, whatever you want. Appreciate it. Thank you.